In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create some word art using Tegel clouds. Not sure how you pronounce that, Tegel, I guess. Um, in the example posted in the Silhouette SD and Cameo users group, the person used Tagzito, but that would require me to install um, Microsoft Silverlight for Mac, and I'm not doing that. I want to install anything if I don't need to, and especially not something from Microsoft. Tagle is an online option, so I'm going to come over here. The, the site is at tagul.com, and I'm going to sign up over here. I'm going to sign up with Facebook, and I'm going to create a new cloud. So in the example posted, they were using a heart, so I'm going to use a heart. Anyway, I'm going to use this heart and I'm going to add some words. Uh, let's see, shapes, fonts. I'm going to choose this because it's nice and bold. And this goes with that pretty well. And the layout. And I want it random. Okay, and I'm going to save the changes. Okay, so it's been saved. I'm going to see it, so I'll click Visualize. And there is my word cloud. So to save this as a JPEG file that I can use in Silhouette Studio, I'm going to first make this larger by pressing Command and a plus sign, which doesn't always work for some reason. I'm going to make this larger by zooming in. And I'll do it one more time. I'm going to take a screen capture. And in Snagit, I'm going to save that to my TechSmith box. And then in Silhouette Studio, I'm going to open up that file by clicking File Open. And this is a problem with Silhouette Studio lately. It displays this long box from which to choose your files, but it doesn't work. So what I have to do is I have to open up Finder and I have to find my image and drag it over. Don't know why it's doing that lately. So there's my image. Okay, so now I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cut line around my heart. And I'm going to use the Draw Smooth Freehand tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, but not too much because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And I need the whole thing in my screen because I don't want to have to drop the pencil while I'm doing this. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to carefully draw around the edges of this. And I'll be able to move those nodes that you see that are being created while I'm doing this. So don't worry if it's not exactly right on, like that one. <laughs> then you get to the end and it closes your circle. So once you've done that, then click on the edit points icon and choose your line. Now you can take these and drag them where you want them. See this you would want further out. This as well, it's not sitting where it should be. And I'm going to drag that handle out a little bit to make it rounder. Uh, and then over here, it's got a little bit of a piece to it that I don't want. I want this out a little bit further so that all the words are included. This I want in tighter. I wonder if I can change. I see. I need to drag this like this, and I need to drag this one up here, and that'll make that more of a tight shape in there. Okay. Um, this I'm going to drag it in a little bit because that curve was out too far. And then over here. So I'm going to make sure that my text is outside 
sorry, that my text is within the line. And I'm going to keep doing this over here. Make that nice and round. Same thing over here. This one is off a little bit. This one is out too far. You see, this is too straight against there. I want it a little bit rounder. Bring this in closer, and I'll bring this down a bit closer. And then this one also needs to come in closer. And this one. And you just keep working around it until you have it the way you want it. So we're going to work with that. And then I'm going to add a point here by double clicking. And I'll bring that in closer to here. The problem with this is it should be sitting right at the edge there. That's what it is. So let's add one right there. Okay, and then that'll make that tighter. And we'll make this tighter over here. That's going to look better. We need to bring this out. It's not quite that far. And then this one. A little bit more, whoops, not the text. We'll undo to get the text back over there. Bring this out a little bit more. I'm going to add another one in here. Right in there. And I'm going to drag this out a little bit. Just want it all to flow nicely. Okay, and then this one, we've got this going out a little bit too far. And this needs to come out a bit more. That's looking kind of good. Okay, my text has moved a little bit while I was working. So I'm just going to make sure that it's within my line. I'm going to do some adjusting over here. I need to select the line here. Double click on the line and I'll get my nodes, which are called points in Silhouette Studio. Drag this out a little bit, and I need one over here. There we go. There's one here. That makes it a bit better. I'm just going to go look around quickly around all my edges. This looks a little bit off. Okay. And that's looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all of this. And you need to make sure that you select everything because, look, if I select the text, this whole area is the bounding box for the text. So you need to be outside of that to select the text and the line. And then I'm going to group those. And I'm going to make this smaller because I don't necessarily want it that big. Then to do a print and cut, to do a print and cut, I need to select, I need to click the registration marks icon up here. I need to turn them on and I'm going to make them cameo style of registration marks. I'm going to make sure that my image is well within the white area, not touching the hash marks. And then I'll send it to my cutter as a print and cut. Okay, so now that I've got that set up, I should have changed my paper, of course. Uh, my paper is eight and a half by 11. So that's what I'm going to choose here for my current printer, which I could also choose eight and a half by, I could also choose letter paper over here, and that would still define it as eight and a half by 11. My cutting mat is a cameo, and my registration marks are for the cameo. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit again. And I'm going to go into my cut settings. I'm going to cut the edge and you can see this line is bright red. So that is defined as a cut line. If I select it, let's see, I'm going to ungroup it. And you'll see that this is not defined as anything to be cut, but this line is defined to be cut. And that's all you want cut. You want the inside printed, you want the outside cut. And I'm going to cut that on plain white cardstock. So I'm putting the paper in my printer. This is now ready, so I'm going to send it to my printer by clicking the printer icon over here. 
is not the printer I want. I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to click print. And there we go. It's going to print out. So here's the printed file. I'm going to put that on my mat, matching the layout on the screen. I'm going to load my cutting mat. And my blade is already set for cardstock, so that's fine. Back in the software, I'm going to choose my, click my send to silhouette button, and I'm going to click start. From here I ended up having all kinds of problems and I couldn't figure it out. Then it dawned on me that I had seen something about a firmware, firmware update. So I went to the Silhouette site, downloaded the firmware update, installed that on my machine and from there print and cut worked fine on my Cameo. So if you need to do print and cuts and you've got the new um, version of the Cameo, you definitely need to get the firmware update and install that. If you have the new Silhouette Cameo, the white model with the touch screen, as is shown on my desk and in the, in the uh, browser right now, then you need to update the firmware of the machine. But if you have the older model, then you don't need to update your firmware. I'm going to show you what you do on the Mac. Um, I need to save a file to the computer, run the DMG file to launch the firmware update program, and then follow the instructions on the screen. So the download file is here. I'm going to show you the URL is www.silhouetteamerica.com slash firmware. Okay. And then if you need the PC file, you can download it here. And if you need the Mac file, you can download it here. So I'm going to download the Mac file, put that into my usual downloads folder. And so it shows here how much time is left before it's done downloading. Just about ready. Okay, so now that it's ready, I can click it and it will install it for me. So I'm going to open that. And here's the firmware update tool. Please connect the Cameo and power it on. And as you can see on my desk, it's already turned on. So I'm going to click OK. Images and firmware need to be updated, and this will take about 10 minutes. So I'm going to click OK, turn off the Cameo, and unplug the power cable. Keep the USB cable connected. So I'm going to go do that. Turn it off, and unplug the power cable, which is this one, and leave the USB cable connected. So now I'll click OK. While holding down the power button, connect the power cable and wait for the screen to power up. Keep holding the power button for five seconds. The LCD should now be light blue. The image data will now be updated. Press OK to proceed. And keep holding it until it powers on. And it's a light blue, so I'll hold it for five seconds. And come and click OK over here. So this update may take about five minutes. Do not turn off or unplug the Cameo. Now it's a nice lime green over there. So it's doing that. So I'm going to let that run. I'll probably shorten this part of it in editing and I will show you what happens when I come back. Okay, so the machine has updated and I guess I need to turn the machine off and on again. Okay, so it's not giving me any further instruction and it's not turning off, so I'm going to unplug it. I waited about 10 seconds or so and then I'm plugging it back in and I'll turn it on. 
so it should be updated. I don't know if you can see that, but it only shows three white lights. Doesn't look like there are any buttons there. I'm not really crazy about the look of that. Let's see what happens here. I press this, it loads it, but there's no, there's no indication there. Okay, so I'm going to restart Silhouette Studio. Okay, so now I have Silhouette Studio running. I'm going to open up the file I was working on, which was this word art heart. Okay, so now it's got print and cut options, which it didn't have before. If I click my cut options and send it to the silhouette. <laughs> It's detecting my registration marks, which it wouldn't do before. So if you're trying to do print and cut with a new silhouette machine, the white one with the touch screen, you need to do the firmware update before it will do print and cut. Okay, now it's cutting out my heart. Excellent. So it has now done this. Now the only thing I don't like is, again, I'm not sure if you can see that, over here on my panel, all I see now is a white box. There's no text there telling me what to do. I'm presuming this is now my unload button, but when I have three blank buttons there, it doesn't tell me what to do. So hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.